Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for March 16th, 2021. Well, yesterday we ended up with a choppy session. Um, we did end up seeing that pop and drop pattern in the morning, but those bulls defended, they clawed their way back. And this morning we're trying to put on a brave face this morning ahead of some economic data that could move the market around significantly. So let's take a look at what we've got going here. First, we have a, an extremely, extremely bullish Dow index. The Dow is just racing to the upside. And I have to tell you that as we continue to extend this out, I get the my feeling is we we are getting closer and closer and closer to a potential pullback and it could be a substantial pullback and we have the kind of news uh coming today that could trigger that um if the news happens to disappoint if the news happens to disappoint so let's take a look at this we have a very bullish um uh, diamonds we have um a nice level couple of nice levels of price support in here and even if we do get a pullback of some time some kind if we stumble that wouldn't be a major problem if we can hold these support levels here in the chart. So watch that closely. I think we, we as we continue to extend, I think everyone would probably agree this market is really um, getting pretty darn hot um, in the short term and needs a little rest or consolidation. But watch that closely. Um, perhaps those numbers come in, come in good enough that we can, can still move on through to the upside. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also managed to recover nicely yesterday, setting new records as um, those bulls clawed their way back in to the market after that bit of a morning drop. Um, we're trying to push um, pre-market futures to the upside. They were down earlier this morning. We're trying to push them up, kind of putting on a brave face this morning ahead of economic data. But let's watch that closely. Now, the SPY doesn't have as near as much cushion um, for a pullback that the Dow does. But as you can see, we are up here breaking out to new records and any rest or pullback, as long as we can hold in on this trend or hold these support levels, we would be in really good shape here in the SPY. So technically speaking, uh, we look really good here on the SPY as well. Now our problem child that I continue to mention is the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ continues to struggle. And although we had a little bit of a drop yesterday, um, we um, also clawed that back pretty nicely um, by the end of the day. And if we take a look closely here, we have broken that downtrend. We're trying to hold that as support in that chart. And this morning we're trying to gap up, but that gap up is going to challenge that 50 day moving average as resistance. And keep in mind, we have some considerable price resistance just above that area. So we're gonna to have to watch this closely. I think the question that has to be answered here on the NASDAQ, and keep in mind our shorter term moving averages have crossed down here. The question is going to be, will there be um, a line of defense up here um, of bears willing to uh, fight uh, to hold this below that 50 day? That's gonna be an interesting question yet to be answered. Um, right now, it would seem that all of the um, all the cylinders are firing for an upside move as we continue to print money like crazy and and drive the economy um, into this inflationary environment. But watch that closely here today. That'll be the one that could be um, uh, very telltale depending on how these numbers come out over the next couple of days. And then let's take a look at IWM. IWM also extremely bullish, setting new records yesterday, albeit very stretched out in the short term. And if we were to get a rest or pullback in that market, in that index, then we still have sufficient upside um, support in here that 
a rest or pullback probably wouldn't hurt us unless we really start breaking down some of those support levels. So IWM looking pretty good overall as well. Very, very strong. Three indexes strong, one index with a big question mark on it. I think we're in pretty good shape for the day. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX continues to pull back and slide, and that is a good sign. Albeit we still closed above a 20 handle here on the day, it's really nice to see that we are finally starting to push back down here and test these levels of price support. What we really need to see is this price support break. Um, Keeping in mind, once again, I have never seen new record highs in the market being set with the VIX this high. We need to see this break on down. We really should be down here in the uh, mid-teens and lower um, on the VIX. That would be really helpful to us who trade options for sure to bring those costs back down and maybe calm down the wide bid ass spreads that the market makers have been charging here lately. But watch that closely today. This could be a, the, the important day. Are we going to break this down or are we going to bounce off of this uh, today? Watch that close. Let's take a look at our T2122. And this four week new high, new low is the one that really gives me the heartburn and the concern. We have pressed this thing to its limits and we continue to try and stretch to the upside as buyers rush in with this newly printed money and new enthusiasm here. But we are very much in a short term oversold condition or overbought condition. As a matter of fact, I would say an extreme uh, condition at the moment. So be really careful here. It doesn't mean that we can't continue to push on higher, but it's not going to take much of a stumble um, in maybe uh, some of these data points coming up in the over the next couple of days that could bring out those bears. So watch that closely today. And if we take a look at our T2101, T2101 continues to rise with this rally. I think that is a good sign for the market. We're going to want to watch that pretty carefully as we reach up in here to that downtrend on T2101, but watch that carefully. At least we're getting that wider market participation to the upside. It will be an interesting question whether or not um, those bears will defend at the 50 day moving average that could start to um, raise some issues here in that chart, but just keep a close eye on it. We've also had some good news here um, as far as bonds go. If we look at TNX, um, TNX, we had a little tiny bit of softening in the 10 year bonds. And this has been that concerning factor. It's what created that real selling um, just over a week ago here in the market as bonds rise. And, and we started to hear from um, the Fed chair that um, interest rates could potentially um, increase and that inflation could potentially increase here in the future. If we take a look at TYX, TYX, the 30-year bonds, also trying to creep up there just a little bit, but softened just slightly um, on the day. So that helped the market continue to push that rally forward as we head into these data points. So with that, what do we have on that economic calendar today that could be... Um, moving us around? Well, first off, we are going to hear from um, retail sales. Now, retail sales numbers, uh, the consensus estimate here on Econo Day, they've got it coming in as a negative number, which is a major slide from the last read. Um, as a matter of fact, I almost think that they have lowered the estimate so much in, in an attempt to make any kind of a, um, a positive number in retail sales look really, really good and we rally off of that. So they may have set the target so low, it may be uh, pretty easy for those retail numbers to, um, to beat that. Watch that closely. And then um, remember, we have the beginning of the FOMC meeting and there is some concern and worry out there that the FOMC may begin to hint 
in this meeting may begin to hit hint of rising interest rates, possibly out as far as 2023. But we know that anytime we start talking about higher rates, markets get a little bit nervous and shaky. We could see some volatile price action as a result. Now, keep in mind that that announcement will not be until 2 p.m. Eastern on um, Wednesday, and that'll be followed by the Fed chair. So keep that in mind and plan your risk carefully, understanding that there could be some gyrations here in the market that could be substantial. We're also gonna have import export prices and that industrial production number. That will be an interesting number to pay attention today. Business inventories and housing market index uh, coming out. So keep a close eye on that. We may also want to keep an eye with bonds being so uh, tenuous right now, we may want to keep an eye on that 20 year bond auction at 1 p.m. Eastern today to make sure that goes smoothly. We don't want to see um, any issues starting to crop up there um, with those not being able to sell and the Fed having to raise those rates. So keep that in mind and then just note as you plan your risk forward, again, we've got housing starts, petroleum status, and that FOMC tomorrow. So um, just plan your risk carefully heading into those numbers. Let's take a look at that earnings calendar. Now on the earnings calendar, we have a, um, a day where we've got about 100 companies on the earnings calendar, but we don't have a whole lot of particular notables. We have a lot of small cap type companies that will be reporting and, and actually quite a few that are unverified reports. But I did pull out a few notables for us to make a note of. Take a look at Coop. Coop will be reporting today. Now this has been um, pretty ugly in the sell-off here recently in that chart. So this might be an interesting one to watch, see if that improves on that earnings report. CRWD is one that we'll be reporting today. Notice we've been downtrending here heading into this earnings report and that downtrend continues to hold. As a matter of fact, this would be a typical shorting setup if we were to get a failure here. So watch that carefully. This is one of those charts that could improve itself dramatically on that earnings or could actually end up becoming a short. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at DBI, DBI will be reporting today. Um, nice upside trend um, extending in toward its earnings event. So watch that closely. We have JBL. JBL reporting today. This thing has surged tremendously heading into its earnings report. Watch that close. We have a good level of price support in here. Even if it misses, a pullback in here may not be all that bad. We want to take a look at Lennar. Lennar, we've had that housing market starting to cool maybe just a little bit with mortgage applications declining, threats of interest rate increases coming in, and we've got this little downtrend going on here. Lennar might be one to watch today. Uh, housing market could be facing some issues, and we've got those numbers tomorrow um, on those housing sales that we'll want to keep an eye on. And then VEL, VEL, um, anything in financial services has been really, really strong, and you can see VEL uh, moving up, albeit kind of a um, insipid price action in here with a lot of wicks and tails and that kind of thing, but watch that closely as that reports today. Um, let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel this video was worthy in helping you kind of plan your day, if you could click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel, channel continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I know there are a lot of folks that watch the video that don't take the time to, but the folks that do really help um, out a lot. And I just want to shout out to you. Thank you so much. Um, um, over 18,000 subscribers now. I would have never guessed um, this channel could have picked up so many folks. So thank you 
guys very, very much. And hopefully you recognize that the purpose of these videos are not to add to the hype or the drama that you see any place else or the predictions, the ridiculous predictions that are out there, really looking at the technical. So please feel free to share this video out there on any of your social feeds. That helps us continue to grow as well. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. And remember, guys, these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence on these trades and make sure they fit your risk tolerance. Never blindly follow someone else's trade. A couple things I want to point out here. I've been keeping an eye, uh, actually I own a position in KHC, so I'm biased on this trade, um, or biased on this chart anyway. Uh, KHC has had a nice little resting pullback, and a lot of these big divvy payers have really been perking up and looking quite good. So keep an eye on this. This is a nice little resting pullback, trying to hold some price support and trend in here. KHC breaking through this major resistance point in the chart, putting in quite a bottoming pattern. So watch that closely. We could start to see KHC perking on higher. Watch that close. I like the chart. I um, think it may have some upside potential. As you guys know, I've been keeping a pretty close eye on this chart in Disney. Now, Disney has just been in this nice little resting consolidation pattern. Buyers are not pushing it through, but there's no sellers in this chart. And I still think this uh, chart has that opportunity to just chop on over here toward its trend. And I would be watching carefully for that next opportunity that this might pop out. Could pop out over here, could pop out here. I'm not sure, but I'm going to be keeping an eye on it. Disney looking pretty darn good overall. Um, I think Starbucks um, is really looking good here. And you can see this morning it is surging heavily in the pre-market. This is a pre-market candle really powering up. Now be kind of careful here. Don't chase this into uh, the open today. Unfortunately, I didn't get into this trade. Um, and unfortunately for me, if you're in that trade, congratulations, it's looking really, really good. Now, any rest or pullback in here continues to set up that opportunity for an upside move. Really good looking chart. I like the way that um, is appearing. Um, I also want to keep mentioning stocks like General Motors, GM, beautiful breakthrough um, on this resistance um, here in that chart breaking through that resistance point resting right out here nobody really seems to want to sell after we pop through so watch this as this consolidates in here look for that next upside opportunity here in general motors i'm gonna have to continue to talk about rig here just a little bit rig showing a really nice little resting pattern after its big breakthrough resistance here i'm going to pull this back and and show you just how important that breakout was that is a nice strong breakout and now we're just getting this little resting pullback in here watch this for that next opportunity we just need that bullish impetus in here to really push that on through to the upside watch um, rig closely um, i've been keeping a close eye on tlry and you guys know i talked about this yesterday i ended up picking up a position in tlry and it surged nicely yesterday and is trying to surge on higher this morning so watch some of these cannabis stocks they're trying to come back up now tlry at least at the moment, I like this one the best because it is up above its 50-day moving average. If we look at stocks like CGC, still struggling with their 50. Crone, still struggling with their 50. But that TLRY continues to look good. And we know this um, administration is intending to legalize this. So watch that closely. Um, maybe some upside opportunity in these charts. I also want to point out Intel. Now Intel has been a choppy, really messy chart, but it continues to try and press its way higher. And Intel's been one of those that's been underloved here. Um, while other tech stocks rallied and rallied and rallied to some ridiculous levels actually, um, I, Intel struggled here just a bit. And you can see that Intel is now perking up and may 
break through some resistance here in this chart pushing on through watch that carefully um, attack of this high up here may be in the cards here for intel so keep a close eye on it i think there may be some opportunities in that chart um, you guys know that i have been holding um, 3m so i do have a bias on this with those longer term charts that I've been talking about here recently. And you can see this pattern, and I gotta tell you guys, if you don't know this pattern, study this pattern, you need to learn it. Because when we break a downtrend, it doesn't matter if it's a weekly, a daily, an intraday chart, we break a downtrend and then we wait for the proof that we can hold it as support. If we can contact the upside trend and a price support in there, all the better. And you can see there's been no heat on this trade since adding into this position. And we can see 3M is trying to extend on higher today. Um, loving this trade at the moment. Good divvy pair. Keep a close eye on it. As a matter of fact, any rest or pullback I may be adding to this position. And with that in mind, take a look at um, Altria. Altria also, that same pattern where we pop up here, we rest, we pull back to trend, and then we break that big downtrend. Notice there's been no heat on this trade since we've picked this up on RWO. Um, really big profits in this trade now. And the fact that this is kind of breaking through some resistance levels in the chart, a rest or pullback means an add to um, looks really, really good um, if that holds some support levels. So keep a close eye on those if you like those longer term holds. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. Once again, be very, very careful out here. Remember, don't blindly follow someone else's trades. Do your own due diligence. Focus on those price patterns. And if there's something we could do to help, please consider uh, taking a look at us over there at Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options. We'd love to help you with your training. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. We wish you the very best, and we'll talk to you bright and early Wednesday night.